what is going on guys ray here bringing you guys another quick video and today let's talk about it man they listened infinity ward and activision or whoever is responsible uh solely for putting the updates into the game listened and listened quickly uh yesterday in yesterday's video that i uploaded about the top five things that need to change in modern warfare i mentioned they needed to add back in hardpoint and um uh, maybe give us some more game modes and they gave us back hardpoint for tomorrow and they did it overnight from my video which is really cool i mean obviously my little channel had no effect on that but i'm very glad that all the complaining about the campy game modes has forced them to put in a fast-paced game mode in hardpoint um and i really hope that in them putting hardpoint back in that means they'll put in some other game modes too um as time goes along that way it keeps the game fresh and i feel like overall that would just be very good for call of duty is to have new modes coming in continuously and uh ones that aren't favored going out um this game came in with a solid group of modes but they were the classic modes pretty much and adding in those new modes and modes from previous call of duties that aren't in this game now will make things interesting and not allow people to get super super comfortable which is a good thing in some ways and a bad thing in others but i prefer to not always be comfortable with a game because it gives you more of a challenge call of duty every year eventually just becomes meh to me because there's only so many times you want to get 40 50 kills and then you know play another game play another game and do the same thing over and over and over again you you know challenge is nice but that's the one thing right now it seems like every match is a challenge and um they're adding hard point back in so hopefully we see some quick gameplay the other thing we got news on today was two new maps will be added to the game uh shoot house is the new multiplayer map and krovnik farmland is the new farm uh the new farm the new ground war map um for me i'm glad they notified us that they're two separate maps and that uh the shoot house map won't be used in ground war so that means it's going to be a smaller map thank god uh from the little thumbnail they provided of the map it kind of has a shooting range look from black ops and if they made a map uh, a map on par with uh with fire firing range or whatever it is um is that what it's called firing range or shooting range whatever it's called from black ops they um if they made a map on that standard on that par i'd, I'd be c completely cool with that and uh that'd be a very good addition to the map pool currently for the standard modes the krovnik farmland looks more like a uh, it's got a gas station in the in the thumbnail and a building in the background so it kind of looks like overgrown it's kind of got that overgrown vibe to it and that's for ground war and i feel like that'd be perfect for ground war if they had just you know if they've done some slight changes to previous maps and just rearrange things you know honestly i'm cool with that because some of these maps are very reliable um today i just noticed that eight thoughts who's another call of duty youtuber had uploaded a video and shown that on euphrates bridge outside of the map is invasion so i mean hopefully that uh, that's a sign that we'll get an invasion remake which is to me one of the best maps ever in call of duty um just absolutely perfect in my opinion the way it plays the amount of head glitches the few buildings the spawn points were great i just like that map i think that map if they do put it back in the game would be absolutely awesome um in this gameplay guys by the way um doing a challenge um with the lmgs i believe it was like a get 35 kills with the lmgs or whatever it is it's one of the early challenges so this is just uh me using using an lmg which definitely isn't commonly seen for many of my gameplays um it's actually surprisingly a good gun this this specific one i'm not even sure what it's called but i actually had a good time doing that challenge the one thing i don't like uh that i recently noticed though in this game was the third perk about um like for quick aim i don't get why that's such a high level to unlock you know because the snipers generally in this game have the slowest aim down sight speed i've ever seen i mean when you get into a gunfight and the first person I mean, and the other person that's shooting you gets the first shot off. I mean, you can't even aim down sights quick enough to get a shot off. Like, to get even close, it's it's terrible. But yeah, that's that's a totally random thought. So yeah, we're getting two new maps, Shoot House and Krovnik Farm. And we're also getting Hardpoint. And maybe 
maybe there'll be more in the patch you know maybe we'll get some weapon balances in the update um who knows some things that i would really like is to see the some weapons become more overpowered uh the mp5 i think we should make that super powerful i think we should make it the cod 4 mp5 because right now it's just m4 madness and if we could change that that'd be sweet because currently all you see is m4s and the maybe it's the seven something shotgun i don't even know because i don't use shotguns i hate shotguns um i've only done the one shotgun challenge that's like get 35 kills and that's the last one i'll do because i can't play that style of sitting in a corner um just waiting for shit like that's that's not fun to me at all so yeah in my gameplays you'll definitely see you know assault rifles smgs and shit like that you won't see you will definitely not see freaking the snipers as of right now but yeah guys so what do you guys think let me know down below what you guys think for tomorrow um are you excited that we're getting new maps this early on in the game because it really hasn't been out that long and we're getting the maps um i think it's shit what is it the seventh so maybe three weeks the game's been out and we're already getting new maps i think that's awesome um it'll keep the game fresh like i said and hopefully it'll improve on the speed of play hopefully they've edited these new maps so they play faster and there's less spots for camping um that's the one thing i can say is i'm just glad they listened this year there's been years in the past where things just didn't go um the game's way or studios didn't listen they favored one side of the argument uh with the community that wasn't very popular maybe or something like that for example modern warfare 2 although like the Infinity Ward Activision lawsuit happened, they did fix the Model 1887s, like the range on them and whatnot, they patched it. But they never came back and did anything else. I don't even know where I was going with that point, to be honest with you. <laughs> but yeah. Um, hopefully with this update, they continue to give us new stuff every few weeks and keep the game fresh and listen to us. Um, yeah. Oh, that's where I was going with that point. Um, they never fixed noob tubes or one man army and shit like that in Modern Warfare, but they did fix the 1887s even because of the lawsuit. But whatever. Uh, they seem a lot more responsive this time around. It's a whole new team with Infinity Ward, obviously, from back then. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Ray, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.